And I didn't know that that Gruber, ladies and gentlemen, apparently, uh, what Gruber wrote a comic book? Did you know that Gruber wrote a comic book? Well, somebody found the comic book. Charles Payne on the Fox Business Network, Varney and Company. Today. They were talking about about Gruber and and. Uh, well, here, listen to the bite. I don't know. I don't know how to explain this. What's interesting, though, is that no one ever picked up that comic book that Gruber wrote. Have you seen this thing? Yes. <laughs> he wrote it and he started it. Have you seen some of the chapters? First of all, 150 page comic book. How about this one? Selling fear instead of facts. I mean, imagine that. And of course, they have the, the evil villain was the Rush Limbaugh type character. It's just arrogance. So Gruber wrote a comic book, a 150 page comic book, and it has to do with the. Uh, uh, how to get things done in Washington, I guess, and the evil villain is me in his comic book. I'm honored. <laughs> okay, I found this comic book, folks. The um, And I'm going to be holding it up here in the digital cam in just a second. In, in this comic book, Healthcare Reform, Jonathan Gruber, uh, what it is, why it's necessary, how it works... 150-page comic book, and in it, he brags about working closely with Obama on Obamacare. And, of course, it really isn't bragging, since Gruber visited the White House more than a dozen times since they began writing Obamacare back in 2009. Now, here is the comic book. This is what it looks like. Healthcare reform, Jonathan Gruber. I mean, this guy was totally into it. He was much more than an advisor. He's out there selling it. He's bragging about being close with Obama. He's telling them how to sell it. He is intimately involved with every aspect of this. And then there's Obama yesterday or over the weekend in Brisbane, Australia, employing the Limbaugh theorem saying, what? I just found out about this today. Some, some advisor nobody ever heard of running around saying things I don't even agree with. You talk about blatant lying to people. At any rate, so we played for you the soundbite back in March of 2010, describing for you how the regime was going to take advantage of big business and small business really not liking having to deal with providing health insurance. Do you remember the, the old CEO of General Motors, Rick Wagner? He got the gig. He loved cars. He wanted to run a car company. He finally got there, and he found out that his job as CEO was health care administration. The biggest expense, the thing that required the vast majority of his time was dealing with the health care benefits for all of the employees. And a lot of small businesses, you talk to them, you own them, you run them, you work for them, big businesses, medium-sized, they all resent how much it's gotten to cost, they resent the time it takes, everything about it. And if somebody comes along like Obama and offers them a way...